Hey, would you look at that? We've unlocked Godot 4.0. For the past three years, Godot has been quietly undergoing an ambitious overhaul, capitalizing on the experience of its numerous contributors and the feedback of its growing user base. So what did we get for waiting those three years? Pretty cool list. Check this out. This is obviously not the full exhaustive list, but I am going to cover a few of the cool things. So let's get right into it. It is one thing just to say that Godot 4.0 was rewritten from scratch. It is another to show it. Well, I went ahead and decided to compare the main branch, aka 4.0, and the 3.5 branch. And it's crazy that there are over 5,000 commits, 7,000 files have changed, over 5 million additions to the code, and over 1 million deletions to the code. That is a ton of work by the main developers and contributors like you, all committed to make Godot Engine better. There is a common thought that Godot is not for 3D game developers. With Godot 4.0, it's time to reconsider trying out Godot for your 3D project. Now that shadows are significantly improved with the new real-time global illumination techniques that can make your game development experience a breeze when tackling lighting for both large open worlds and smaller environments. Add on top of that, that we now have Vulkan power. No, not that Vulkan. The open source low level graphics API, which includes support for AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0, referred to as just FSR 1.0 which essentially is designed to upscale your graphics while you play, allowing you to output graphics at a higher frame rate, but also at 4K as well. So while the game engine is rendering, say, 1080p, the final output is actually 1440 or 4K. It's really cool. This is, of course, in addition to the OpenGL renderers for devices that are not Vulkan compatible. Also, visual effects and shader support is improved. This includes atmospheric effects, that work out of the box like volumetric fog and sky shaders, and decals to make it super easy to project materials and textures. The shader language has been extended and the visual editor is more intuitive. The new tile map system is game changer. I put together this scene in less than an hour while sitting on my couch, and I was distracted with a Netflix show. With multiple layer support, alternative tiles, a way nicer system than the previous auto tile setup using terrains, the tile map system has ties into physics, collision, navigation, and you can even add custom data. And there's so much more to this system. Making your next tile based game simple. Let's talk about multiplayer, specifically about networking which now has better reliability and a focus on stable connections. This results in less hanging, and it even includes a headless mode. Things like peer-to-peer -peer networking and scene replication is also now easier than ever, which lets you focus on building your game and less on wondering where your packets went. With Godot 4.0's new server-based navigation system, it supports fully dynamic environments and on-the-fly navigation mesh baking. Any physics body can be marked as an obstacle for automatic collision avoidance, and AI agents can use navigation links for complex pathfinding, requiring crossing over gaps, walking onto platforms, climbing ladders, you get the idea. Bullet was what Godot used in previous versions. But the fact that the owners of Bullet are moving in a different direction than focusing game development, think like robots and research. But because of this, Godot needed to evolve. Godot 4 now has its own game-specific physics engine with better performance through broad phase optimization and multi-threading as well as a more intuitive workflow and simplified scripting. A major win is the OpenXR support. So you can now create your VR games without a plugin. Using the OpenXR standard has allowed the update to support major Windows and Linux Steam VR headsets. GDScript 2.0 is a complete rewrite of GDScript. The 1.0 version could no longer grow due to all the years of changes and improvements th that made it hard to change due to risk of regression and unknown side effects of just trying to improve the language. The rewrite let the team improve the language, taking everything they learned and making it way better for you and for them. This way, improvements and added features can now be done in a more scalable, maintainable manner. I've also left in the description below the GDScript basics for all of the 2.0 changes, so you can be up to speed in no time if you're transferring from 3.5. Are you coming from Unity? Happy to have you!
You don't have to learn GDScript. You can go and use C-sharp today, and it supports .NET 6. You can even write your engine extensions in C-sharp. That way you can make things work for you and your team. GD Extension is the successor to GD Native. You can write custom engine modules in C, C++, and even Rust. You can extend the engine and publish them for others to use, or create a workflow that helps you automate your pipeline. And honestly, the sky's the limit with this one. The UI design is much easier with a brand new theme editor and includes multiple windows support and an improved text renderer, which adds localization support. Animation got an upgrade in this version as well. With a ton of reuse and workflow speed enhancements with the addition of animation libraries and a brand new animation retargeting system. The blending system has also been rewritten from scratch and the animation tree editor is more intuitive and flexible. Some of the biggest complaints was the lack of console port. Godot does not have this as part of their core offering because it often requires tying it into a closed source dev kit, which goes against everything FOSS stands for. But do not fret. Enter W4 Games, whose founders are actually Godot veterans, and they aim to offer a path of development geared towards free and easy solution for console ports. According to their Godot lead developer, Juan, beta access is coming soon. I encourage you to take Godot 4 for a test drive. Make a small breakout game or a small RPG. The community is here to support you with documentation, an active community, and amazing content creators creating new tutorials and guides all the time. Welcome to the Godot community. Stay awesome.